Congratulations on your last release, Death of Darkness. Uh, Thank you, album. sir. Um, getting great reviews and everything else. So, uh, and now you're going to start a tour uh, on the 26th in uh, New York. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we uh, the album came out last spring and it was nominated as uh, the album of the year uh, in Finland, like like one of the one of the five candidates for that and uh which was like already like a win for for band like ours and uh it definitely um we've been touring for it ever since and it really it really took us to some other new level and this level will will be shown uh, as we have a brand new single coming out tomorrow uh, uh a song written by Diane Warren called Fate to Grey Right. So it's just like um, like we've been playing all these three, on, on actually on four decades right. with the 69 Eyes. But we always, at least in our tiny little minds, we we try to keep and think that we're keeping everything fresh right. all the time. So like even if you listen to the like uh, our records from 20, 20 years back, they don't sound like from that time which right. I'd actually realized by myself, or at least I think so. So we're just like trying to keep it classic, simple and rock and roll and all those elements that we loved when we started the band, you know, like the mis right. mystery, uh, rock and roll debauchery and, and then loud guitars, classic right. lineup, two guitars, bass, drums and a vocalist who doesn't play any instrument. That's kind of rare these right. days, you know, so... That's what it is. The album Death of Darkness uh, is is still like fresh, and and it's it's cool to come to play over like a let's say east coast of the U.S. Those right. songs, the majority of the songs are from that set. Of course, the the sixteen as classic that we know that classics that we know that the audience is waiting for. So, and you know, all together, like when we started the band in Helsinki, Finland as a rock and roll fans it was the ultimate rock and roll dream ever to come to play in the states right. we started to do that exactly 20 years ago like uh like uh 2005 for the first time but that was like the ultimate goal to start the band that would you know uh you know like people would notice that in helsinki stockholm london paris rome and in new york right. you know and in la so that happened in in couple of decades and uh those are the things which are still important for us just you know it's just like uh there's that you know like uh, it's all based on the fact that we're we're friends we're rock and roll fans and uh it's it's very old school it's even impossible to explain for uh, modern rockers who start their or dream to start their bands at the moment where our values are but they are pretty much the same ever since for those guys who started it all in the in the mid fifties, you know. Right, right. Now this it's just tour... like we are, we are, we are, we are, you know, like we're, we're like uh, it's 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 about freedom, staying young, you know, and and you know like uh, just like uh, once in a while being outside of the society when especially when you're touring, you're just like a musician and artist. Right, and right. have have that kind of like, uh, you know, and and experience those vibes and 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 you know, sort of like, give freedom for the audience as well to feel free at least that moment and you know and and absorb the music that we, you know, we we create on stage. Right. Yes, sir. Now this is uh all uh basically an East Coast uh, tour, right? Yes, sir. Right. I know the uh the last uh um you know show ended the tour is on the 13th in Dingbats in New Jersey, where I live. Yes, sir. You know, oh, wow. So, cool. Yeah. Great. So uh, hopefully I get to come out and see you guys. Yeah, you after, after, uh, absolutely. And please came, come to say hello. And uh, can you tell anything about that area? Is that uh, what, what bands are from there? Uh, not, not Springsteen, not Springsteen area, no, right? No, 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 not at all. No, actually, it's kind of a heavier crowd there. You know, all right, cool. like what, what they would like you guys definitely, you know. Great, great, great. So, you know, what's the difference between touring over in Finland compared to the United States? 
Um, I, I don't, don't, basically there's no difference. Like when okay. it comes to performance, uh, right. audience differs. Like, uh, at the moment, uh, we're so popular in Finland. Right. And well, we actually just played in Sweden as well last weekend. So the audience is singing along a okay. lot of the songs. And right. uh, that's that's something what I, 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 I'm I keen to see, like if this could happen here in the States as well. I mean, there we have like a catchy chorus. So right. people are pretty much singing. So let's see if dingbats uh, will, you know, sing when I tell them to sing. Right, yeah. <laughs> from cool, the stage. Cool, cool, cool. Tell me a little bit about uh, um, the CD cover. It's really cool. Oh yeah, that's a that's an artist, uh, Adrian Baxter, uh, who has done the Gothic uh, album covers for for decades for pretty much more darker bands, right. uh, like a European Gothic metal bands. But right. he also did a cover for for American rapper Yellow Wolf uh -huh. in the same cool. style. So right. that actually. Uh, caught my my eyes like all oh, right that's pretty cool that yellow wolf was using like a european gothic metal right. cover artist for his his album so then i was thinking like all oh, right i want to do the same if yellow wolf d does that i want to do the same so right. so then i get got in touch with with mr baxter and uh he, he 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 was excited to do the cover so it's just like a psychedelic uh you can stare at the cover and listen to the music sort of psychedelic uh medieval gothic uh wood cover ca right. carving style wow wow uh, i noticed you have some new merchandise uh coming out or it's out already yes sir tell me a little yeah, bit we about have, that yeah we have a well you know like uh we have this new single which comes out tomorrow so the cover for the single was done the uh marcelo vargas who has done the uh the cover for slayer Right. albums before so i got in touch with him as well like hey would you do some dark art for the 69 eyes so he did the new single cover for fate to gray and then i uh then i asked him to if he has something suitable for t-shirts and one of the like unfortunately one of the legendary drummers that we we met on the road during the years was james kotak right. who, who just recently passed away he played with uh with kingdom come and wow. scorpions cool. and he had this tattoo on his back which is uh rock and roll forever so i i sort of like uh, i was touched by that and uh since he passed away like a couple of months ago so that i inspired for we have this uh new tattoo by this uh this guy this cover artist uh marcelo uh which has which says rock and roll and it's uh forever on the sleeve uh, and we have a hoodie of that also. So, you know, it's sort of like uh, something that just stuck me that that's what we've been doing and what that what guys and friends of ours have been doing for for our lives and, you know, sacrificed our lives for that thing. Cool, cool. When you tour the United States, is there any kind of favorite foods uh, you like to eat during the tour in the United States? Um, well, it's uh, well. There's too many, and uh, it's just like uh, that's it's it's tempting too, right. you know. Especially as 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 I'm here now on the on the west coast, of course. Like uh, like uh, Mexican food is fantastic. Right. Uh, New York has its own flavors, and 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 you you guys have their that, that stuff. So it's always like uh, like I try to eat a local. Uh, goodies when yeah, I, wherever yeah. I am like whatever yeah. they are you know like of course the traditional way is the best like I guess you got you guys have New Jersey I think you have what is your you have Italian yeah uh, we, we're right there. here in New York so we're right next yeah to New exactly York, so like you yeah know, so uh, it's it's like Italian is your cuisine or or is it like uh right. bagels no, no. or something like that yeah no Italian uh, New York's famous yeah. for pizza and you know yeah great exactly exactly you know yeah so a lot like, of them, a lot of different styles, a lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot of, but Italian is like something I could expect, like in Jersey. Right, right. I, you you know, like Lodi in New Jersey is, Lodi in New Jersey oh, is yeah. where, where, where some of my favorite music come from. And, and they always tell me to go to Lodi Pizza. Someday right. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, uh, you know, you're in the United States, um, 
do you get to visit anywhere or is it just basically show eat and on the road uh or or just show and on the road because yeah. uh, it's so hectic so uh, i'll try to do as much as possible uh this time uh, i'm excited that we're going to visit like a cleveland so i'm going to going to rock and roll hall of fame right. uh of course in new york and in new jersey i'll i'll do the local hot spots and meet a lot of friends i have a lot of friends in new york and new, Jer new jersey as well so i think it's it's going to be like a, a feast of friends all these shows in new york and in in ding bats as well so uh there's and, and you know we're going to play in nashville so there's uh, like the johnny cash museum and all these things so that that belongs to the tour that's right. that's a reason to tour that is a it's it's touring means seeing the world meeting people being present so right. In in my books, I'm also interested in partake of and and see the place and also respect the town, uh, that where I'm visiting and respecting the venue that I'm visiting and and uh, for for these people who come to see us as well, you know, show them respect, also like enjoying your neighborhoods. Right, right. What's the biggest impact uh, in your life that made a change in your life? It's it's very um, simple story, uh -huh. uh, and it's it's also like uh, it's just it it it's something that I really start like to tell still today. Right. Uh, I was I was like eight years old, and and I saw a funeral on TV, and it was nineteen seventy seven, and it was Elvis funeral on the Finnish Finnish TV news. Right. And I asked from my mother, what's going on? Who is this guy that people are mourning? And a lot of them on the streets. Right. And she explained it was it was uh, American rock star called Elvis Presley. And right. I started to discover what is a rock star? What is El who's Elvis? Right. So, you know, that changed everything. And that is that is seriously, I think I could that that's how, how it all started. And I'm still here, you know, to solve right. the mystery. Right, enjoy yeah. the lifestyle and also like uh you know find figure out what why i am why i why i'm here you right know, what's the reason I, i'll probably someday will find out but still it's just like i'm following this path that i'm right. that I'm oh. on and unfortunately sir i think we uh i have another interview yes starting you do at, at yes you do yep yes sir okay well Congratulations on uh, Death of Darkness. Uh, would you like to say Thank anything? Thank you, sir. Would you like to say anything to the fans? Oh, yeah. Hey, please, please, as we are here playing in the States, please try to uh, have some time to come to say hello. Come to see our shows. Uh, we are here for you. Uh, just in case you can't make it, maybe next time. But, you know, you never know when the next time comes. So we are here for you. We are here for you forever. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for liking the Helsinki Vampires. See you at the dig back. That's New Jersey, March 14th. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Brian. Bye bye. Bye. All right, how you doing, man? Hey, finally, finally. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. You know? Yeah, no problem. No problem, Brian. How you doing? Uh, very good. Very good. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is your the singer of the 69 straight from LA. Right, yeah, yeah. Hey, what how's everything out there? Uh it's sunny. Uh uh helicopters on the uh -huh. air, the usual. Wow, wow. So uh 